This daffodil is beautiful, but also delicate, and if you try to bend it, it will just fall over. To overcome this, we will use this thin wire to give a little strength to the stem, so that we can bend it as we wish. Often wires have a slight bar or bend at the end that will catch on the flower stem. If I'm using it for a stem that isn't hollow, then I recommend you trim the end like this to give you a good smooth tip. Then simply thread it very gently into the stem. If it's tight stem, then twist the wire like this. If you force it, you may bend the wire and have to start again with a new wire. Be very careful to avoid it piercing the side of the stem. If you do, reverse the wire a little and then progress again, bit by bit. The wire will need to go far past the bending point where you want to bend. Cut off this excess wire and also trim the stem to the length you want it. You can do both at once. Don't trim wire with your hasami, as that will damage the blade, but use wire cutters or these craft scissors have a little notch for cutting wire. Now we can make the bend. You will still need to be very gentle. Let's see that again. This time we'll use the snake glass like this. At this time there are many joints, so you will need more force and cut the tip to give a, a needle effect and then push it through. This wire will be up to this point, so we want to put more. This time you insert about here. Then go through like this. So it should be up to here. And you might want tip as well. Like this, so the wire is all the way through. You can bend whichever you like. This.